and welcome to Diecast Restos. My name is Jason and this is a Lesney Matchbox 74A mobile canteen. They were in the series from 1959 through until 1966. I wouldn't usually feature a trailer on its own without something to tow it, but this is just such a colourful and interesting casting. This one however has been dismantled and repainted at some point in its past though. It has a broken towing eye and no buffers on the hatch. This is how it should appear, though there were a series of differing colours. The screw is holding the body and base together, but cannot be unscrewed, so I have to lever the two apart. While the body could be found painted white, cream and pink early on in production, the majority were painted silver. It looks like this one was once silver from the insides. The hatch has seized shut due to the thick paint. It would have had a buffer on either side to prevent it closing too far inward. Bases on the 74A could be found in sea green or four distinct shades of blue. The sea green could only be found attached to silver bodies. My casting had grey plastic wheels, but they also came in silver or black plastic. In mint condition, the rarest and most valuable mobile canteens were silver with the blue base and black plastic wheels. Then it is the pink bodied, followed by the cream and white bodied trailers. The silver with sea green base is next, while the silver with a dark blue base also commands a premium. The base did receive a modification to the tow hook. Initially it had a round foot which was then squared off and braced. Then it was rotated 90 degrees and the spread rivet that kept the body and base attached was changed to a round one. The body was modified on the serving hatch with the support arms thickened then reduced to one. The mobile canteen's run was brought to an end in 1966 by the Daimler double decker bus. While I'm taking a closer look at the details of the casting here, you'll be able to see the importance of these tabs that prevent the hatch from swinging back in on itself. There's not a ton of detail required on the body compared to what can be seen on the inside included on the base. The central items like the urn, cash register, clock and utensils immediately grab my attention looking at it. All the cupboard handles and hinges have been intricately cast in. Now I'm gluing on some offcuts of aluminium rod to act as buffers for the hatch. And then I fill this badly drilled post with some Vallejo plastic putty which when dry will be able to house a new screw to keep the body and base connected. As you can see here, the screw placement has breached the edge of the post. It has almost tapped the rest of the putty though. I'll use some glue on the screw end to ensure it's sealed properly when finalizing the build. Here's that tab fix, a bit crude, but neater than a blob of solder I think. I had this rarer cream coloured version of the casting in quite good condition, so I thought I would show that to compare the differences. The hatch tabs aren't too dissimilar, and my tow hook fix using a small washer isn't far off either. I missed recording this process, but it was identical to that in my 23C Bluebird Dauphine Caravan restoration video. Here's a brief peek inside the canteen. These are the decals that I've sourced from Steve Flowers Model Supplies and just look how good a reproduction they are. The kerning is slightly tighter on the reproduction, but they are mightily impressive. I'll pop a link to Model Supplies in the description below. Considering that this casting launched in 1959, there were a few Matchbox models that Lesney had manufactured with a tow hook until that point. I could count nine models that had a suitable tow hook, excluding tractors and prime movers. These were the 45A Vauxhall Victor, 43A Hillman Minx, 33 and 39A Ford Zodiac and Zodiac Convertible, 36A Austin A50, 30A Ford Prefect, 22A and B Vauxhall Cresters, and the 12B Land Rover. Of these, realistically speaking, I'm not sure many would have the guts to pull this canteen. I've paired my finished mobile canteen to one of these in the closing credits. Bonus points if you can guess which. I've decided to use TS17 gloss aluminium to recreate the more common silver bodied 74A. 
For the base I've chosen TS23 Light Blue. This is perhaps a little richer than those shades seen on original castings. But close up and once dry it will look top drawer. With the body now dry I move on to applying those wonderful decals. This large piece wraps around the sides of the trailer like the factory decals did. I don't think the backing is quite as vivid as those. It's slightly translucent. Even still I think they look great and suit well. Next I move on to applying the banner decals that face both directions on the roof of the casting. These were actually a bit awkward to fit considering their proximity to the roof, bunching them up into that 90 degree corner. Both eventually rolled out fine so can then be brushed with some setting solution and are then rolled out some more. My final act is to reattach both wheels onto that single axle then touch some chrome onto the axle end. So this is how my 74A mobile canteen looked before. I found it painted in this terribly blotchy white coat which had brush marks and hair and all sorts dried into it. The previous owner had decided to paint the hatch a navy blue again badly. The repair on the tow hook was actually fairly decent all things considered but a bit too untidy for my liking. I needed to cook up something fresh and original for this canteen so here's how it's served up. Compliments to the chef if I don't say so myself. It looks like an entirely different casting now that horrible white and navy paint is gone. It still has a bit of a bodge job repaired to the tow hook but I think it's now looking a lot more authentic. The decals are most definitely authentic looking. They're extremely accurate to how the original decals appeared. Another minor bodge was to the latches on the hatch ends. It now can't swing in on itself. The base has been painted a coat of blue which you can see a little of here. I've opened the hatch at the closing credits so you can see some of that gorgeous detail of the mobile canteen's innards. But that's your lot for now. Click that thumbs up button if you liked this build. Hit subscribe for even more like it. Join up on Patreon for previews of my next builds but all that leaves me to say is thanks for watching and I'll see you again for the next one. Bye for now. Oh, 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 oh,